hey y'all so i'm just back to make a very quick video um and this one is going to be about guarding your heart so um a couple weeks ago more like over a month ago i think i had started going to this church on their wednesdays um for their bible study and they do like a discipleship class and um and i started going because i wanted i want to be honest and say that I, I went first for Jesus, but I was, I, I knew that this place had people more my age and being in a new, a whole new state with no friends or family, it, it is a little challenging. So I went because I knew they had people my age and I was like, okay, I can build community. Um, and you know, they're all, they, you know, hopefully God willing that they will be uh, believers as well and actually living a surrendered life to the Lord but I had went one night and I sat um in a little discipleship class I was sitting by um a guy and we as they were doing the lessons or whatnot we got to the end and they were um sending around a piece of paper for people to sign and I was signing the paper and I missed the last point right and oh, I'm going to tell you all my business though. But anyway, I had, I was signing the paper. So I missed the last point and I wasn't thinking anything of it because we were already wrapping up. And so I passed the paper on to somebody else. And after a while, the man beside me, I never got to look at his face, but the man beside me, he was like, Hey, um, you, you need the last point. Do you need the last point? And I was like, Oh yeah. And so he showed me. And so I wrote down the, I wrote it down and I mean, I wasn't thinking anything of it at that moment, like right in the moment. But as I got up, you know, I told him, thank you. And, you know, they ended the class and, you know, told him, have a good night. As I was walking away, the thought came to me, how did he know that I missed the last point unless he was watching me? And I was just like, my flesh part of me started to rise up and I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then immediately, immediately, a thought came to me and I know it wasn't me. It was, it had to be the Holy spirit because it was, it's not me out of my, um, my flesh talk. And all it was, the thought was, or maybe he's just being a good brother in Christ. And I was like, you got me there. You got me. So this is just a lesson or not a lesson, but this is just a reminder y'all for us to guard our hearts. So even when I still, like I sometimes when I'm able still go on Wednesdays to the Bible study, um, I try to, I pray and I ask God to help me guard my heart because there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of people my age in that church. It's a popular church. Um, and the men be fine. They be fine. Like I got eyes. Let's be, let's be honest. I got eyes, but they are fine. So I really do have to ask the Lord to guard my, to help me guard my heart. And I also have to take my own precaution, not just, you know, I pray, of course, and ask the Lord for his strength and his, his power to do this, but I also have to set myself up according to the, the scriptures to guard my heart. I can't be silly. I can't be, you know, vulnerable and I can't go, I have to go in with the intention like, Hey, I'm coming for community surrounded around Jesus. I'm coming for the Lord not to find a man, not to find a husband, not to, you know, flirt and, you know, this is not what I want. So even when I find myself thinking about like, oh, thinking about like a guy or whatever, I have to quickly tell myself like, no, and I have to pray in that moment and be like, Lord, help me to guard my heart because, you know, these old habits try to rise up and, you know, want to get boy crazy or now I'm, I'm a woman. So man crazy, I guess. But guard your heart be intentional and take precaution to guard your heart because is your heart and what you um open it up to it's a very serious thing like it will lead you astray because the heart the bible says that it is um deceitful and desperately wicked so all these people are talking about, oh just follow your heart and eh, you better seek the lord follow his instruction because that heart according to the bible is deceitful and not just wicked not just wicked but desperately wicked the bible like that's why i love the bible not to get into something else but that's why i love the bible because the words are so specific 
and they're they're chosen specifically because it could have just said wicked but the word says desperately wicked that's in one of the um translation but desperately wicked so um yes y'all guard your hearts don't be man crazy or if you're a young woman don't be boy crazy um seek the lord be intentional about seeking him and guarding your heart and you know are these trash people about to come i don't want to get up okay anyway i'll talk to y'all later sorry <laughs>